Hey, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect a PS5 controller to a Google TV device. Now, if you want to see the written version of these instructions, you can find a link to my website in the video description. So before we get started, just a couple of things to keep in mind is that your Google TV device must support Bluetooth capability. I know that sounds kind of weird to say, but it could happen um, where your Bluetooth is not actually available on the Google TV device you're trying to sync it to. So just keep that in mind. It must have Bluetooth. The other thing is that if you're trying to make it work with a specific app or game or something on Android uh, based Google TV operating system, it may or may not work because it's pretty dependent on if the developer of the app has made it compatible with the PS5 controller. So just those two things to keep in mind. With that said, let's continue on. It's super easy to get this done. So the first thing you want to do is put your controller into pairing mode. In order to do that, you want to press and hold the PlayStation button and the share button together at the same time until the lights on the controller start to flash. When it's flashing, that's when you know it's in pairing mode. Okay, so on your Google TV device, what you want to basically do is go to the top right corner and thus you can access your account picture or icon, whatever it may be, and then go down to settings. From here, you want to scroll down all the way up to remotes and accessories, select it and pair remote or accessories, select that option. And you're going to see a device that's detected, it's called wireless controller, you're going to just tap on it, that is the PS5 controller. It's literally called wireless controller and wait for it to pair up. Okay, and now it's paired. Okay, so right now I'm filling with the Google TV and I'm using the PlayStation 5 controller to navigate up and down, left and right. The D-pad and joystick work just fine. But here's the bizarre thing. On a PlayStation console, typically circle is to go back. But on this case, square and circle is to select an option and X is to go back. But on a PlayStation 5 console, X is usually to select an option. So the button mapping on square, circle, X all seem to be inverted. Okay, so a circle should go back, but it selects along with square. X is supposed to select, but it goes backwards instead, if that makes sense. So you might have to fiddle with this and your experience will definitely vary depending on what you're trying to accomplish. So if you have a PS5 console and you want to sync your controller back to it, super easy to get that done. All you need to do is take the USB cable that came with your controller and power on the console first with the power button directly on the console itself. And when it's powered up, use the USB cable, connect one end to the console, one end to the PS5 controller, and then press the PlayStation button on the controller and that's it. You can disconnect the cable and you can start using your controller in wireless mode once again. So as you see, it's super easy and that's pretty much a wrap. So if you found this video useful, be sure to check out my social links and website link in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.